Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well, we had a question on one of our earlier videos. We created an icon list with some blurb modules. When you use icons, you can resize them, make them large. And somebody was asking about left aligning images and wanting to resize the images. Well, there's no actual option in the module to do this but it's very easy to do with just one single line of CSS and don't let that put you off any CSS I write today I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it so what we're going to do is basically turn these blurb modules with images left aligned here from this into something like this like I say really easy to do so let's get started first thing I want to do is enable the visual builder and let's just get rid of this row right here and we'll start from scratch so I've got a section or we can get rid of this section below with our examples down here too I'll get rid of that section so we just got a section right here I'm going to add a row now there's a couple of ways you could do this you could actually do it by using a row something like this or this and using an image module and a call to action it would achieve pretty much the same thing but you're dealing with two things there and that wasn't the question so I'm going to use a single row I'm going to add a blurb module there's the blurb module right there as you can see when the image is on the top there it's nicely full size but if we go over to our design image and icon right here we place it to the left it ends up being a tiny little barely even a thumbnail type image right there I mean if we use an icon let's choose any old icon that will do fine you can actually with an icon you can resize it using icon font size drag it bigger or smaller however you want this is what we did before but this guy wants to add an image and make it larger so let's do that Like I say, with the image, there's no actual option to resize it at all over here. So let's put an image in rather than a placeholder. Okay, now what we're gonna do now, I don't know if you've noticed, but that blurb module is only taking up sort of 60% of the space that's available for our row here. If you want to make it take up the full amount of space, let's do that first. Just go to sizing and the default on desktop is 550. I'm just going to write in 100%. And as you can see, it's now stretching the full available width of what we've got going on there. But that image is still absolutely tiny. Now this is where the custom CSS comes in. So we're going to go to advanced tab go down to custom CSS and you'll see some boxes here we've got before main element after and blurb image which is the one we want we've got blurb title and content below that so I'm going to simply say on desktop I want that to take up perhaps 25% of the available space there so I'm going to put width 25% you can do it in pixels if you want but I find percentage will work better because desktops have varying sizes as do tablets and mobiles so there we are we've got a very much bigger image there and that looks a whole lot better to me but if we look at it on tablet hit the little purple button down here and we'll hit the little tablet icon it's okay I kind of like to have it take up 50% on tablet so we got sort of 50 50 so if we hover over the dark legending and this is common to all Divi modules here you'll see a little mobile phone icon click on that it'll give you a desktop version we've got our width 25 there I'm simply going to copy that control C I'm going to go to my tablet version I'm going to paste it in there and I'm going to change that to 50% when it's on tablets 
There you go, that works better for me on the tablet, I think. Obviously, you do exactly what you want to do. And we'll do the same thing for mobile. And here, I'm going to make it 100%, but I want it to be on top. I don't want it to be on the side. Because I think on mobile, it's just taking up too much, too much space there. So I'll put it to 100% of the available space. It squished everything over there. But what we can do, we can go back to our design image and icon now hover over the dark legending that says image icon placement there again hit the little mobile phone and on mobile we can say put it on the top there we go so that's going to work nicely on mobile so we got that on mobile we got this on tablet and we got this on desktop so that's the easy way of doing that. Like I say, one tiny little bit of code, I'll put that code below. You're welcome to use it how you will. Now let's just save this. Now we'll go back to our desktop mode here. And I'll duplicate it a couple of times. Simply hit the duplicate button. That'll do fine. Let's change the image here. We'll pop in a different image. And we'll do the same for the one below. And of course you can style your title and content how you will like any other Divi module. Okay, well let's just save this. And we'll save our page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. Okay, let's exit the visual builder. And here we go, there it is on our desktop. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. If I hit the F12, we can put it on other devices. Okay, so I got it on an iPad here. As you can see, that's 50% on an iPad. If I change that to a phone, we've got it on the top nicely like that. So it's gonna work responsibly on all devices there, which is just what we want. So there you go, I hope that's answered your question. That's how to make your blurb images bigger when they're left aligned like that. It's pretty simple to do. Like I say, one little tiny bit of code, but I'll put that down below. Welcome to use it as you will. Just remember to change it on different devices. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.